Ooh, doggy! That animal is stunning! This is a maniac. <gasps> oh, 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 oh. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the vlog. We're only one day away from leaving to Italy, and I'm gonna just give my Bella and a few other animals a little bit of treats here. Come on, girl, come on down. Come on. I know you love hornworms. Oh, yes. That's my girl, Bella. <laughs> I do These hornworms are like crazy to reptiles. They absolutely love them. Look at she's coming out like, hey, can I have another? There you go, buddy. There you go. There you go. Yum, 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 yum. Oh. And they always squirt. One time I actually got squirted in the face when I was feeding Bella, but you don't want to give them too much of this. It's not that good for her. So only once in a while we give her a treat. Bella, you're such a beautiful girl. I love you so much. And I'm going to miss you so much when we're gone to Italy, little girl. Oh my gosh. And we are so excited about this trip. It's going to be absolutely incredible. So if you're in the Milan area, please come see me this weekend at the Reptile Show. It's going to be absolutely incredible. And I can't wait to bring you guys along on this adventure. Karma, absolutely absolutely loves hornworms, but you gotta remember several months ago we were feeding him these guys and it actually was too high in protein, so now we only do it once in a great while, but he absolutely loves them. How awesome is that? But I think I got some hornworm juice on the lens of my camera. Like I've been mentioning, we actually are leaving for Italy tomorrow. One of the things that's been giving me a little anxiety is my girl Lucy here, who looks really good, is actually just coming out of shed. And I really prefer Lucy to shed while I'm here, just in case we have to take her out and actually clean her cage, which is typically the case. The good news is, I think there's a very good chance she's gonna shed tonight, which means tomorrow before I leave, I can actually take her out. Again, I trust my crew and they know what they're doing, but I just feel better when my crew isn't having to handle Lucy without me here. So Lucy, do me a favor and shed tonight, beautiful girl. I'm here with Kelsey and we are super excited because finally, because it took me a while to get her all the help with this. Day has come for us to put male ball pythons in with female ball pythons. So with any luck, they'll start to breed right away. The females look really good. They've been conditioned good. Kelsey's been doing a good job. So what do you say we just get started? And uh, she has them all organized now. You can see all the tags, what males go in with everything. The actual male tags that we use are already on the cages. And I've said in the past that when we put a male in here, we're gonna have a tag. And then if that male moves here, the tag moves with the male. That way we can always keep track. So what do you say we just jump right into it? Absolutely. Let's do it. And the very first snake we have is this albino clown male. And it's actually gonna be being bred to a double head albino clown female. So uh, have at it. Go. All right, the season is officially underway. We have males in. So now we have to go through and just put all our males in all the way down here and all on the other side and get everything all set. And then with any luck, we'll have a bunch of breeding here in another four or five months. We'll have a bunch of eggs. We'll see what happens. And again, we're gonna do an ultrasound here as soon as I get back from Italy. Uh, we'll ultrasound all the females. We'll update you guys on where the follicle growth is. If I had to guess, just looking at the females, I would say things are probably between you know 10 and 15 millimeters right now, which is right where you wanna be to start breeding. He's never fed potatoes a hornworm, but I gotta imagine he's gonna like them. Come on, try bud. There he is. Yum. Yummy yum. And again, this is a great little treat for a bunch of the animals. I wouldn't want to give them to them too often. It's just too high in fat and so on like that. But every now and then to give something like potato, here a little treat. It's a great kind of enrichment as well as it does give them a little bit of extra oomph too. They absolutely love these guys. I figured since I'm going to be gone, I'm going to go ahead and feed Ben and Jerry today just so my crew doesn't have to stress out because let's face it, it's kind of an important animal. I don't want to have them have to worry about something going wrong and then me blaming them. So if I feed them, only I can take the blame. There you go, buddy. There you go, buddy. Good job. Oh, 
I'm actually pretty excited about this one. This is actually a pastel hidden gene Walma and it's being bred to this lesser female. Of course, the hidden gene Walma stuff with lesser produce soul sucker oh, yes. stuff. And we haven't had soul sucker stuff in a while. I think soul sucker stuff is really cool. I'm really excited to produce some. Exactly. So hopefully this guy will do his job and we'll get some pastel hidden gene Walma mm -hmm. stuff in the near future. So we have a little bit of a design flaw with this cage here. This is the only rack system that you can't get from behind. And unfortunately, you have to take this cage out to change the light bulb. And guess what? Uh, this stuff here is a little bit too high. Can't pull it out. So it's kind of a design flaw. I am so bummed that I have to cut this away to get the light out because Night Fury's light bulb burned out. But there's nothing else I can do. So it's not going to look as pretty, unfortunately. But I have to access the light. So I just have to literally go in here and cut a little bit away so that I can actually remove this cage. <sighs> oh, what a bummer, I hate this. Okay, so with any luck, I'll be able to get this cage out of here now. Boy, that's a lot. That's a that's a pain in the butt just to <laughs> replace some bulbs. Okay, lights back on. Get a UV light in there. So light is fixed. Now I just gotta try to see if I can get this in here. Uh. All right, there we go. Actually, doesn't look as bad as I thought. I mean, I like the fact that the trim came down a little bit more, but it actually looks pretty good. And now Night Fury has beautiful light gonna look absolutely incredible in there. And speaking of Night Fury, take a look. He just shed yesterday and whoo doggy, that animal is stunning. Oh my gosh, the iridescence in this snake is absolutely ridiculous and it is growing so quickly. It seems to be shedding like every three or four weeks because we've just been feeding it really well and it's just been thriving. It's such a gorgeous snake. Can you imagine this snake when it's eight or 10 or 12 foot long? Oh my gosh. I absolutely love the pastel crystal stuff. I mean, just take a look at how gorgeous that snake is. Of course, this will be a pastel, it would be a Mojave, and then it's a Lelic with an animal that's called a special. So that is absolutely incredible. And this one is actually going to a pinstripe that is possibly even a special. So hopefully we'll get some cool stuff from it. So Bruce, you have a crazy new tarantula. What is this one? This is called a skeleton tarantula. Skeleton tarantula. And it's crazy. Oh yeah, oh yeah. They, so they excited? I don't really know what it is. I think it's called that because it turns you into a skeleton. <laughs> All right, All right, cool. Uh, so we're gonna let Bruce uh, put it into its new habitat. Be gentle with them because they don't really like to be messed with too much. Oops. Don't be scary. Oh, look, it's like a puppy dog. Bruce, you said this one was fast. You could pick that up, I bet. Eric? <laughs> no thanks. What's well, crazy to me, it's anything. Bruce is a maniac. <gasps> okay, oh it went from uh, being friendly to being, it, is it biting the, the yeah, paper? Yeah, it's trying to, yeah. Oh, no way, he's biting the paper. If this thing runs at me, I'm running Dude, away. Dude, no, you're crazy, get away. Danger, danger. This is stranger danger. Danger, stranger danger. danger. Look at it, it's a oh, beautiful yeah, yeah, yeah. tarantula oh, though. Wow, it's really pretty though, huh? Wow. Oh yeah, she, they're absolutely beautiful. These guys are actually super cool because they actually kick hairs with their front legs, not their with back their front legs. legs? Yeah, that's oh, one of the more unique that. things about that. I have not actually seen it yet. Uh, they have, have yet not to have one kick happy, but right? I don't, I believe it's actually kind of like a, wow. you know, almost like, shame, shame, go away. No, <laughs> No, just... For those of you guys who have been following me, you remember this chocolate banana spinner produced a lot of chocolate, super chocolate banana stuff last year. So we're gonna give him another go this year and I'm hoping my odds are a little bit better. We're breeding him to a bunch of chocolate pins and a bunch of things like that. So with any luck, we'll get some super chocolate banana stuff and maybe even some super chocolate spinners. Who knows, hopefully we hit the odds better this year. Guess what, Lori? One what? more day and we're off to Italy. I know, crazy. You still learning all your Italy? Um, I'm learning on my Italy. <laughs>
<laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm trying to here and there, obviously. Because okay, I'm relying on you. I don't know any Italy at all, except Bongiorno. It's called Italian, not oh. Italy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, guys, we're going to have a great time when we're heading over there. You just got to pack up a bunch of stuff today. We're going to work tomorrow. Make sure everything is organized because because uh, we're going to be in trouble if it's not. I think we're in good shape. What's the thing you're most excited about? All of it. This is, this is like number one on my bucket list, so all of it. Okay, <laughs> just think about this. About 40 hours we're going to be in Rome. I know, crazy. Can't tell you how excited I am for this trip, mainly because it's going to be a really great fun time, not only seeing Italy, but being there with Lori. Having a trip with Lori isn't something that I do nearly enough, so it's going to be absolutely incredible. But listen, looking around here, I am going to miss this place so much, not just here, but BHB too. When it comes to the breeding schemes that we do nowadays, we're looking for really cool animals. We want beautiful animals that people want, so oftentimes, even something like a pastel ivory that might not be super cutting edge is still a really amazing snake and we hopefully can produce more of these because again albinos white snakes bananas all that stuff are so so popular so although we do want to produce some really cool cutting edge stuff the truth is a lot of times we're just looking to produce amazing snakes that people are gonna love it's been a while since I've updated you guys on my black milk snakes these are a lampropeltis triangulum gagei so they look a little bit like a Honduran milk snake and when they're born they're definitely like a Honduran milk snake but you can start to see how sooty this one is getting here in the next six months or so. This one should turn jet black. That's right. These guys are a milk snake that look just like the Mexican black kings, but these guys can literally get up to seven foot long. So it's a really big jet black snake. It's absolutely incredible. And it's really cool that again, they start off almost looking like a Honduran. And then as they get older, they get darker and darker. So this one is just starting to go through the change. It's going to be absolutely spectacular here in another two or three sheds. The two guys at work, are you, when I come over, I think you fake working. Just this, like, he's faking. I already clean them. Dude, I'm not. Those are already clean. You don't even have anything in your hands. I'm cleaning it. <laughs> I'm cleaning it. <laughs> All right, guys. So we have one day before we leave for Italy. I want to know the to do's and to don'ts when we're gone. Okay. To do's. There's a lot of do's. Like, All right. So uh, tell me. One of them is eat oh. the local food. Eat the local. No, wait a second. I'm talking about to dos for you, not for me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the yeah. to dos for you for guys? Me. I know what I'm doing. I'm not worried about me. Eat what are you guys food. gonna do, and what are you guys not gonna We're do? We're gonna just try to do the least amount of work. No, 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 no. no. We're gonna bend the fork down. We're, We're gonna get this place down. going. We're gonna increase business sales. Okay, I'm Dude. talking <laughs> through social oh. media and the internet. <laughs> It's wow. gonna be great. We're okay, so when I come back, we're gonna have more sales, more followers, and more everything. Yeah, that's perfect. Right. I love you. To do to don't to don't uh, work. <laughs> don't no, don't no, work. No, you're supposed to be. Oh. Oh. he's the team leader here. He's the what? team leader here. Oh, I don't yeah. don't oh. drink. Drink like pops like and stuff. Water. No, you can drink, drink water. water. No alcohol. No oh. alcohol. No, no partying. Right no. No arguing or fighting. Is that four? Yeah. That's four. No police being called for anything bad. Can't guarantee it. You're just making stuff Can't up right it. now. You're yeah, just no like, fires. Uh, no fires. No fires. Don't so guys, to prevent a I, I, fire. guys, you can imagine my anxiety uh, leaving the fort so behind nice. with these guys. Don't worry about you it. Can't. Let me know in the comments if you think we're going to come back to a disaster or not. You guys are gonna be good, right? Oh yeah. Okay. We're well, we have. Now. We'll still be here tomorrow, one more day. We'll but I want you guys to start mentally getting prepared. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. What am our, What are we, dogs? <laughs> we got this. Do you really want to know the answer to that? <laughs> Take a look at this Lemon Blast Bamboo Ball Python right here. This is absolutely stunning. I'm super excited to produce more bamboo stuff this year. Okay, so all the males and females are together. Kelsey, I know you'll do a great job. You've got it down pat. Pretty much nowadays, I just let Kelsey do whatever she wants to do. So, uh, <laughs> so just you know, keep on working. And of course, I'll be gone for a while, so keep me updated. Absolutely. We'll keep checking back with you when I'm gone, so you can do some film. I'll leave a camera with you. You can kind of update us. So uh, there it is, guys. The ball python and python breeding season is underway. Noah, what in the heck is going on? You made. Whoa! The what the heck is this? This is. What you turn in the microwave, man? I can't tell if that's the pizza or that's the pizza. <laughs> What'd you buy me, man? It said two minutes. I did a minute 50 seconds. Are you sure you didn't do 15 minutes? No. <laughs> that I, looks horrible. This is gross. Yeah, look at the let microwave. Me, let me try up. it. Let me give it. Oh, it looks so bad. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> 
my god, it's rubber. That is, that is rubber. What the heck? Is this vegan? What is this? It's gluten free. No wonder why. It doesn't. It, it's a, it's a it's a rubber piece of like it doesn't bend. Like it so it just it so like quick to go back. Baloney. Yeah, it's just like bologna. It's a bologna pizza. Okay. Enjoy, yeah. Noah. No, it's all protein. <laughs> With that said, guys, tomorrow's the big day. We are traveling to Italy, so one more day here at the Reptarium at BHB, and then we are off on our journey, and a lot of fun. I cannot wait, and again, bring you guys along on it. And as for now, I am shutting the vlog down and wishing you guys an absolutely amazing day, evening, whenever you happen to be watching. As always, your support means the world to me, and I truly Truly, truly love you guys so much. Can you do me a couple favors before we get out of here? If you like the video, can you like the video? If you want to know when I post a video, turn those post notifications on. Leave a comment down below and let me know something awesome about you. Are you excited about the Italy trip? What do you want me to show you when I'm there? Be kind to someone and I promise I will see you guys tomorrow.